Hi guys, I'm Annabelle Knight and right now you're watching the Love Honey YouTube channel. The place where we talk about sex and sex toys so that when you shop at the Love Honey website, you know what the heck you're doing. In this video, we're asking the question, how do I know what turns me on if I haven't had sex yet? But before we do, I've got to remind you that if you never want to miss another one of our videos, hit that subscribe button. So the question is, how do I know what turns me on if I haven't had sex yet? Well, the answer is um, really quite simple. It's all in your mind. You don't have to have had penetrative sex to know what turns you on in the slightest. It's also important to note that sex covers a very wide amount of activities. It's not all about penetration and the act of intercourse. Sex covers everything from making out to the act itself. So you've got a whole host of activities in the middle that still count as sex. So don't worry if you haven't had penetrative sex yet because it's completely possible to work out what works for you without it. They say the biggest erogenous zone is actually your brain. So exercise your thoughts with some sexy reading such as Chasing Clouds by Annabelle Knight. Erotic fiction is a really great way to help you explore your sexuality and find out what works for you when it comes to turn-ons. There are tons of sexy scenarios in erotic fiction novels and you can read them at your leisure, pick them up and put them down whenever you like. If erotic fiction isn't really your bag, then there are other types of sexy books. This is the Love Honey Play With Me activity book. It's not a storybook, it's an activity book. So it's a fantastic way to have a bit of fun while you work out what works best for you. For example, it has a would you rather exercise, which gives you different options to choose from and could give you some fantastic ideas and turn you on in the process. My next tip is to masturbate. Masturbation is great for you for so many reasons. It's really good for your physical health as it can help to boost your immune system. It's super good for your mental and emotional health and it teaches you about your body. So you learn what is normal for you. But really the headline when it comes to masturbation is pleasure. It's all about exploring your body figuring out how you like to be touched and where you like to be touched. And that's why I will always recommend a good quality water-based lube. Water-based lube is fantastic. This is the Love Honey Enjoy Lube. Because it allows you to enjoy pleasure in a really slick and sexy way, it reduces friction and increases sensation. So you'll feel everything that little bit more. Water-based lube is also perfectly safe to use with condoms and sex toys. So if you want to bring a toy into your solo sessions, you can still use this lube. Speaking of toys, they are a fantastic way to play and to explore. When it comes to figuring out your turn-ons, exploration and experimentation is key. And that's why I'm going to recommend the Love Honey Dream Bullet. This is a perfect starter toy. It's a great way to dip your toe into the world of sex toys without compromising on pleasure potential. It's super petite. It has a tapered tip, which means precision stimulation. And this little toy has 10 different settings. You've got three speeds and seven patterns to choose from. All you'll need to do is pop a AAA battery inside and then press the button on the base. Now, this might be small, but it is mighty. This is the lowest setting, and I'm gonna pop it on the table to show you how powerful it is. All you need to do to go through the different settings is keep pressing that button. This toy is all about experimentation, so it's perfect for working out what works for you. When you're all done, press and hold the base button and it'll turn itself off. Now I have said it before and I will say it again, water-based lube is your friend. This toy is for external stimulation, so that's, you know, the clitoris, the nipples or any other external erogenous zone you might have. You can actually have a lot of fun finding out your erogenous zones and I would recommend using this bullet to do that. Just make sure you give it a clean after each and every use so it's nice and hygienic for the next time you want to use it. And finally, and perhaps my best tip for discovering what works for you, for what turns you on, is to treat yourself to a date. Like basically take yourself on a date. That could be running yourself a bubble bath, it could be cooking yourself a nice meal with a glass of wine, watching a film, and then woo yourself 
and that could mean exploring your body while you wear some sexy lingerie. Now this is absolutely fantastic for boosting your confidence levels, making you feel really sexy, and treating yourself to a sultry night in. This is the Love Honey Late Night Liaison Body and it is beautiful. It's made from the softest of lace, so it feels super sensual to the touch. You're gonna feel like a million dollars in this, which will certainly take experimentation and play up a level. If you look sexy and feel sexy, you're halfway there. So I would really recommend treating yourself to some lingerie. And don't worry, if you have a penis and a lace body isn't your thing, we also do a range of briefs and boxes as well. So I think we can all agree, you definitely don't need to have had sex to be able to work out what turns you on. If you have any tips of your own, please pop them in the comments box below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you never want to miss another video, hit the subscribe button. For notifications, click the bell. And if you just can't wait till next week for another video, then don't worry, because there's one coming up right now. I've been Annabelle Knight, and you've been watching the Love Honey YouTube channel. Bye.